Now that we have covered UltraBeat's assignment, synthesizer, filter, and output sections, we can move on to the fifth and final section of the instrument, the step sequencer. UltraBeat's step sequencer is divided into 32 steps and can contain up to 24 pre-made sequences. Working from left to right, we first see the sequencer's global parameters. These include the on-off button for powering the sequencer on, the play transport button for starting and stopping a sequence, the edit mode switch, and the global swing knob, which, when turned up, introduces delay for even-numbered notes creating a swinging feel to the pattern. The swing parameter is only available for grid resolutions of 1 8 and 1 16 of a note, and only affects grids that are marked swing enabled. Also, keep in mind that even numbered notes don't always correspond with even numbered steps, since they are determined by both pattern resolution and the pattern length. The edit mode switch has two settings, voice and step. Voice mode functions as UltraBeat's default, where modifications to a selected sound's parameters affect the drum sound itself. However, switch over to step mode and you can open up all of the sound's parameters to automation, where adjustments are targeted to specific steps in the sequence while leaving your original drum sound settings unaltered. Along the bottom of the step sequencer, we have the pattern parameters. The pattern menu is where your 24 sequences of patterns are stored and accessed. The length parameter dictates the number of steps in the sequence and is adjusted by clicking the numerical value and dragging up or down or by moving the slider bar located beneath the accent and trigger rows. Working hand in hand with length is resolution, or how the steps are divided musically, ranging from 1 8 note to 1 32nd note division. In fact, by taking your length parameter and placing it over your resolution and mathematically simplifying the equation, you can determine your sequence's time signature. Next to that are the pattern mode controls. Turning pattern mode on allows MIDI notes to trigger corresponding saved patterns in a style dictated by the playback mode settings. Also included in the pattern parameters are the accent and swing controls. The swing button enables the swing behavior that was outlined earlier while the Accent button enables UltraBeat to accentuate steps with their corresponding Accent button selected. The volume of this accent is set globally and is determined by the Accent Volume slider. Finally across the bottom, we have the Voice Mute Mode On-Off switch, which sets incoming MIDI notes to toggle the Mute button for its corresponding drum sound as your sequence plays back. The meat of the step sequencer is the step grid. Here, the trigger row and velocity gate row work in tandem to designate the beat on which each selected note is triggered, at what velocity, and for what length. Clicking a button on the trigger row activates a sound at that beat, and then you are able to adjust velocity and gate by clicking and dragging in the velocity gate row. Both the trigger row and the velocity gate row have right click or control click shortcut menus that give you lots of options for getting started creating patterns and editing them. Each of UltraBeat's 25 drum sounds has its own corresponding trigger and velocity gate rows that are displayed by selecting each individual sound. However, UltraBeat also offers you its new full view 
Full View replaces the synthesizer controls with a battleship-like grid, which gives you access to all 32 trigger buttons for each of the 25 sounds simultaneously. The selected sound is marked all the way across the grid with a halo, and as usual, that sound's velocity and gate settings are displayed in the sequencer for easy editing. 